Hi guys, so in this screencast I want to show you how to work with the QJS raster calculator and first of all where the hell is it? So if I go to raster and raster calculator I'm getting it and we're gonna use this section of Cyprus from a Sentinel-2 product to demonstrate and what I can see is all of the bands I have currently in my project. Bands meaning not a raster, because raster can have several bands. But let's have a look, for instance, here at the OpenStreetMap. It has three bands one is red, green, and blue. But these have only one band. Actually, these bands here, one of them is, I'm working with this now for one, one for now. This one is a near infrared color and this one is green color. Okay, so, raster calculator. It can do any mathematical operation you want, you can see. Not any, but many mathematical operations. Let's say... I can take this raster, first channel in this raster, and add a value of 1 into it. But when I look here, I can see that the, the result goes out as a layer. What does it mean? Since it's a raster, let's zoom in. You see it's very high resolution but in the end you can see it's composed of many many pixels and each of the pixel have a value here it's uh, presented as brightness if I add one I'm getting the same image but every pixel has a value one higher than it currently is so Raster calculator. We're going to work on this one band and do plus one, and the output goes to my out I'm adding the result to my project. I can change the uh, CRS it's presented on but I don't need to it's quite a large file so it might take some time to produce it but I can also change the resolution here now the operation the mathematical operation can also be between two layers meaning I can add this layer not add one to every pixel but add the value at the same location this way so this is the sum of two layers let's run it now this is the result vector the result raster And it wasn't a meaningful operation, but this is how the raster calculator works. Bye, thank you.